welcome to today's video where I'm going to take you on a tour of my excessively crazy, overly organized storage rooms. I'm really proud of these storage rooms. It's taken me a year to get up to this point. I just like to be super organized, which is kind of how these storage rooms were birthed over the last year. So there's still so many storage rooms that I actually want to create, but let me show you what I have right now and then maybe we can make another video later. I did decide to make this video inspired by all Steph and games here on YouTube. I'll put Steph's information on the screen. If you guys have not checked out Steph, please make sure you go check out Steph's storage video. I will link it in the description box below. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here we are inside of my main house. We're gonna go to the left. This is my gym storage room and it may be one of my most favorite rooms just because of how organized and kind of colorful it is with all of the gyms. But we have um, basically collected collected up all of the gems and also some like iron and gold and stuff um, that is in the main valley. I have a separate storage room for Eternity Isle, which I can show off later in the video. These are all the main gems that you can get in Dreamlight Valley. And I kind of just have them organized. I don't want to say in a rainbow, but just kind of colors are similar as they progress down the line. And um, I also included some of the Dreamlight and Night Shards. I also included coal because to me, coal kind of looks more like a gem than it does actual coal. So I included it here since I have a ton of coal, but um, I use this Scrooge's safe as a storage chest in this room, which works perfectly. And yeah, I just really love it. It feels very uh, lavish, very um, expensive, you know? And I just love how it turned out. I think this may have been the second storage room I ever created, but this is my um, greenery room, kind of. It keeps all of like your organic, you know, materials that you find around the valley. So we have sand and chests for sticks. We also have clay, pebbles, and stone, and also some dirt. I think, it, is that dirt? I can't remember what this is. Is this dirt? Rich soil, I'm sorry, soil. Um, I keep my rich soil and the regular soil in there together. And then I have an additional storage chest back here for you know more stone and stuff. But um, I haven't upgraded all of my storage chests. I still need to do that, but it's just really expensive to do. But I really like how this room turned out. I think I'm going to expand it and make it a little bit bigger. For right now, I added some trellises. There's actually a work table in here. I just kind of wanted to feel like it was like a pottery room or a room where I came to pop plants just very organic very naturey so the vine walls help to kind of like achieve that but I do like how it turned out I think this is one that I do really need to make bigger though and I also need to add bigger storage chests as well uh, now this is my kitchen uh, kind of like the main house kitchen I love to include these in all of my houses or in builds like this because um, I can actually come in here and cook as well but I thought that it would be important for me to keep actual like food ingredients in the kitchen and once they updated the game to include the refrigerator as storage chests. I went ahead and added those into this room. So we have two refrigerators and this is where I keep all of my like eggs, milk, all the stuff that you can buy from Remy's. Um, I think I also included like, yeah, some of the, some of the Easter eggs and stuff that we have actually right now in the game. Um, Dreamlight fruit is in here. I might reorganize this refrigerator, but yeah, I'm just using this as a place to store basically all of those um, ingredients that you can purchase from Remy. I also have a chest on the ground to include some herbs and also the peanuts, I think. Is this peanuts? Yeah. So some dry ingredients, I guess. I guess the whole thought was really to create this room based on, you know, all of the, the things that you would keep in your refrigerator or in a pantry. I store those things in here. I should probably even put the coffee in this room as well. But um, I really like how this turns out. I think it's a really cute room. And again, it gives me a reason to kind of come in here and visit some of these um, storage rooms when I need different ingredients for quests or when I'm cooking and things like that. All right, so we're now on the second floor of the house. And over here, I have my aquarium, which I thought would be a really fun room to have just to store all of my fish. I do have fish stored in some of the storage chests that are in each biome, but, but once I realized the aquarium could be used as storage, I immediately decided that I was gonna need to turn this into like an actual aquarium room. So I kind of have them organized by color, but I have like blue fish here, I think reds over here, um, purple, is it purple? Brown, brown and greens, and then maybe purple is right here, yeah. So actually I can put some fish away, which I'll do, but I really love it. I used Ariel's like lamps, the Little Mermaid lamps because they have bubbles coming out of them. Um, and I, I just wanted to feel very blue, kind of dark. You could probably remake this room a bunch of different ways because there are a ton of wallpapers and floors that I think would work really well for an aquarium room. Um, the only thing I do wish is that the aquarium that came in the Star Path, the turning, the one that had all of the elemental stuff, um, I think it 
was that one. Um, anyways, the Finding Nemo Aquarium, it's a really big aquarium that would make a perfect um, aquarium room, but it doesn't have any storage attached to it. So I'm hoping that's an update that comes in the future. But for now, uh, I think this works really well and I love it. I also have a little blue storage chest on the ground um, that I use to store seaweed in. All right, so now let's head over to Eternity Isle because I have something special to show you over there as well. Of course, I have additional storage on Eternity Isle. Of course I do. All right, so here we are standing in front of my storage house instead of storage rooms. It's a house that includes all of my storage um, for all of the Eternity Isle specific items. Um, this was a personal choice I made so that I had a reason to return to Eternity Isle once I finished with the DLC. Um, anytime I needed ingredients or anything like that for quests or something, I would come to my storage house, but I decided to put um, Eric's ship, I think that we got from the Premium Shop, um, down at the docks, which made sense, and I turned it into a ship-themed storage house. So we have the main room here and then three additional rooms that I'll show you um, that all include storage for this world that we have, this new world that we have. So I really love it. Um, let's start off in here. So this main room is meant to be like the navigator's area for the ship, I guess. I don't know. I, I I got a little creative. If you guys are interested in seeing how I built these rooms, I did them live on stream. Um, it's kind of like a step-by-step -step thing. So if you want to check out those streams, they are posted on my channel. Um, but uh, for now, I'll just show you kind of like what they look like. They contain um, all of the items that are specific to Attorney Owl, like I mentioned. These are all of like the gift items you can find from time bending. Um, I also include Included, which is kind of unfinished some of the tables aren't finished yet but I have any of the time bending stuff that you can find um, I have some organic materials pearls um, these are just kind of like those techie looking things I included those in storage here I can't remember the name the what are these slabs or something I can't remember the names of everything but um, I just wanted some of the more like natural or techie stuff you can find kind of in this room here so a lot of this is time bending stuff that you can find I also included a little time bending table so when I'm running around I can come into my storage house and use the table if I need to and I really thought that this you know Pirates of the Caribbean premium shops item here would be perfect because it kind of clicks around as you can see um, you can kind of hear it a little bit, but yeah, it clicks around and it's perfect for the ship build, I think. So here is my flower storage room. This one actually took me a lot longer than I was expecting to complete, but I do love how it turned out. This is all Eternity Isle flowers. I also included like bamboo and agave on the table as well. Um, and I also used a tropical wood. I stored it here. Um, I just love how everything looks. All the colors are super vibrant. We have all of the flowers here, um, all of the cactus. I like This is my favorite part right here. All the cactus flowers look good on their own individual table. Um, I just use like the wooden tables and wooden storage chests in here um, to keep up with kind of like the theme. To me, this feels like what a ship room would look like if it was dedicated to, you know, growing flowers or whatever. So I even have like a little well over here and you can interact with the well. So I can like fill the bucket with water, essentially. We're using our imagination and, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it was a nice touch for this room. So I used the new shelving that came with the DLC as well up here along the windows. Um, to store like books and pots and stuff like that. And I also use some of the Eternity Owl decorations with like jugs and the potted plants um, as decorations in the corner over here. But again, one of my favorite rooms. I really love how this one turned out. Welcome to the ship's kitchen. This is, a I don't know, I might be saying this a lot because I really love a lot of these storage rooms, but I wanted this room to feel like obviously the ship's, you know, main kitchen where all the food would be cooked or whatever, but it was the perfect opportunity for me to display all of the different fish and stuff that we had. I think originally I was going to put food um, on these tables, which I thought was a cool idea, but I really wanted a way to show off all of the really cool fish that we have, you know, in the game. We got a lot of new fish with the DLC, so I used um, one of these aquariums that you can use as a storage chest as well but I displayed a lot of the fish on the boxes on the table here. And then I have all of the um, the new ingredients that you can collect here as well. So we've got like the cabbage and the pineapples and everything stored in here. And I kind of combine them into their own chest, as you can see, just because I don't think I'll ever collect up that many of each individual item for them to have their own chests. Um, so I felt like this was a cool way to kind of display it and store it as well. We have a refrigerator in here too where I decided to store all of our meat. 
um, you know, getting the new proteins was part of the DLC as well, which I really love. So we get the meat from Gaston Stahl and I just put it in the fridge, which feels realistic to me. And of course we have a stove that we can use to kind of like cook the food. We even have the beans and the lentils over here as well. Oh, I almost forgot to mention too, this little cabinet here with the potions on it can be used as storage as well, which I love. So I actually use this cabinet to store all the spices and stuff. So cumin, cinnamon, you know, anything like that, I stored right here in this cabinet. And I also have a, an infinity chest in here that I could use to pull out materials. I do wanna mention, I wanna actually include more infinity chests in every storage room because as I'm out gathering stuff, it would be easy to just kind of pull it out of this chest and put it in the room. But um, I did that correctly here. I just haven't done it in all the other storage rooms. So yeah, it's just like a, a cool little room. Um, it feels like alive and very vibrant in here. And I love that it's a little grungy too. So I'm really happy with how this room turned out. And lastly, we have a new gym storage room for Eternity Isle gyms. Uh, this is specific to everything you can find in this world. Um, and I, you know what, I take back what I said earlier. I think this is by far my favorite gym room. This one just feels very expensive, very much like a very private um, gym room. I don't know if it feels very ship esque it does to me but i could see why people may not see it that way but i just wanted to feel like a locked room on a ship that you could come to find all of your riches which is why i included these gym piles here and i feel like these windows were perfect because you know they look very expensive and fit the room's aesthetic i included all of the jade and amber some pearls here um and then we have all of the new gemstones here as well and then also i have the ingots that can be created from some of the new materials displayed on the table here as well that's where i'll store those um but yeah i just love how this looks the oasis glass is also in here just because i feel like it looks like some type of expensive mini pile of gems so i decided to include them in this room as well but i really love how it looks some of the items aren't complete i still need to find some um another piece of amber to put up there um and i need to find some regular rumble stone i think is what it's called to put on the other side here but overall i'm really happy with how it looks and i thought it was the perfect opportunity also to store um, some of those cores that we find from time bending so i have those as their own little table right here in the center which looks good as kind of like a centerpiece when you walk into the room so love how this room looks and i'm really happy with how it turned out so there you have it friends those are all of my insane overly done storage rooms i hope you've enjoyed i hope that maybe even this could be inspirational if you are a person that is storing your items on the ground that should end today make yourself a beautiful little storage room that you can use to put all your stuff away they don't even have to be as extensive as mine but i do recommend you do it thank you guys so much for hanging out if you haven't already please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed and until next time i will catch you all in the next one peace